hey guys welcome back again to my channel i know it's been a while since i didn't upload a video but hey i'm back so today we are making a goosey soup or a goosey soup i don't know how to pronounce it but hey whatever <laughs> but anyway right now i got my meat and i already show you guys the palm oil and for this um a goosey i'm going to use spinach and then a little bit of bitter leaf Yes, I got the baby spinach. You can get any type of spinach you want. It's your choice. You can actually use just the spinach or you can just use like just the bitter leaf. But I heard that Nigerian people mostly use the bitter leaf because it makes the ogusi taste better. But I mix two um, things together like ogusi and the spinach. I mean, the bitter leaf and the spinach. And I got my three pack of ground agussi. I want it a lot in there because it's gonna be this this um recipe is gonna be big. So like I said, like I always say, I have a big family. Whenever I cook, I cook big. So and I got my shrimp, my dry shrimp. Some people call it I don't know how you guys call it, but hey, I call it shrimp because <laughs> it is shrimp. So and I got my five scotch ball pepper and onions. I got my jumbo. You can use the um, cube, the Maggi cube. It's your choice. And of course, I'm going to use a little bit of white Maggi. As you can guess, can see it's over there. And that's like everything. And one more thing, the stocking, the stock, the meat stock, I boiled it and seasoned it really good. Actually seasoned it before boiling it. The stock, the, that's what I'm, I'm going to use that for this food. So, yeah. Yes. So right now, I just... Put my bone oil, let the, I mean, let the palm oil burn really, really good. And then put your um, chopped onions inside and let it like fry for a little bit. So next thing is we're going to put the egusi, the ground egusi in the bowl and put like two cup of water so it can like be um, a little bit of thick. You can put the dry like that in the soup No, So you have to like mix it together so it can be thick and then throw it in there. Don't put too much water now, just like two cup of water. And then mix it and then put it in the pots, the, the oil. I mean the palm oil and the um, onions together and just leave it mix it and then leave it for about like five minutes so it can cook really really good before we go to the next step for this recipe I'm going to use fufu, cassava fufu, to eat with this uh -uh, egusi. But I'm going to show you guys too how to uh, cook fufu. Because some people, I don't know, somebody at my work was asking me how to cook fufu. And I'm like, fufu is very, very easy to cook. It depends on how much water you put on the fufu for you to cook it. And it depends on how much you are, you have to be, you have to have muscles. <laughs> Muscle, you have to have strength to cook fufu. So right now you're gonna keep mixing there and let it see how it's getting dry. We don't need no water inside. We need to let it dry. So now it's the time you put all your seasoning. You can put the seasoning you like. That's what I like. So that's the seasoning I'm gonna put. It's not gonna change anything, trust me. But yeah, that's the seasoning I like. That's what I'm gonna put. The um they actually use for this recipe i think nigerian people actually use the maggi cube but i use jumbo you know that's what i always say in my videos like if you don't want to use my seasoning you can use the seasoning you like you don't need to use white maggi or um uh or a jaminato or how you guys say i don't know but yeah you don't need to use that if you don't want to i use it i put that you don't need to do that 
now it's time for us to put the crayfish inside i actually like rinse it first before i put it inside and mix it and now we can put all our uh, um meat inside the meats that you like you can just dump everything in there mix it and then leave it for about five minutes again so it's like five five minutes when you cook it because you don't want it to burn and you see how the eggs is getting dried up so you want to like at least you what anyway <laughs> let's keep going in this process but yeah you keep mixing it you put the pepper your pepper inside your blend pepper So right now it's time for us to like put the stock inside the stock if some people don't know what is it, what I'm talking about I boil the meat the meat that I boil I actually rinse the meat first take out the blood of the meat it was fresh and then actually start boiling it without adding seasoning it and after it start boiling it I take the, that water and throw it away because I don't know some people like just like taking the, all the meat and dump it and they put seasoning and then that use that stuck without them knowing the meat still have blood you know I don't want that so I actually let it boil first so the meat I mean their blood can be out and then I put the second I boil it second time the second time that I boil it that's when I put all my seasoning I season it really really good and then let it boil that's the water the water that i that was inside that's what i actually like put put in there so that's why i just use like two jumbo because i already know i'm going to put my stock in there and the stock already that's the stock right there and the stock already have like seasoning inside so yeah i already i don't put i don't want to put i don't want it to be that salty so yeah so you gotta be very careful if you know you season your uh, uh, um meats really really good so you just need to like put one jumbo or like one uh, uh, maggie cube so right now as you guys can see i didn't put all the stock inside because i don't want it to be too waterish but i'm actually gonna let that water dry so i'm gonna cook it till that water get dried up and yeah that's it for now so we're gonna cover that up and then let it dry let that water dry and then we can put a lot bit of leaf and then we can put our spinach inside so right now as you guys can see you don't see that much water inside the food it's looking so good and you guys will not believe this i have never never cooked a goosey soup before this is my first time this was my first time that i cooked it and it came out really really good like seriously i actually just watched one video and then i knew everything what to do and that was it yeah and it's really really good seriously so first thing we put is the bitter leaf so we're gonna let it cook with it and then after that we're gonna put the spinach inside and you guys are gonna think, think like oh the spinach is probably too much more than the oils but hey watch how it's about to come out yo you're gonna love it and you guys need to try it and let me know down below i'm actually going to put my facebook link down below and i'm going to put my instagram link down below and i'm going to put my snapchat link down below so you guys can like ask me any questions either snapchat instagram facebook you guys can ask me questions about anything and if you guys tried my recipe like you guys like did a video i mean you guys tried any of my recipe just like show me a picture of how it came out and then i'll probably like my next video will be like i'll just put all that together and you know just post it yeah so right now just put my spinach inside i'm gonna cover the lid and then see how it went down you guys are gonna think it's too much but it's not too much the spinach is like the worst you think you have a lot until you cook it and then it's whoosh, when that shrinks so yeah right now i'm gonna mix it all together and then oh that looks good man it makes me my tummy right now talking i actually did this video like a week ago 
imagine that's how busy guys i was i couldn't even edit it until today today's my day off that's when i'm editing it and i'm gonna upload it for you guys today i know i've been slowing down on this cooking stuff but you guys need to be really really patient with me really patient and guess what guys i have my camera yo i have my camera now i have everything now so now my video when i'm going to be doing my video you guys gonna see me you guys gonna see how I, when i tried my recipes you guys gonna see when people try my recipes you know i'm gonna be doing so much so the for the haters out there you guys need to get ready because i'm going to be doing more than this i'm going to be cooking more food more i'm going to be trying more different uh african countries food and nobody ain't gonna cook it but myself because i'm pretty sure if somebody cook it i will not like it like do i will do it so yeah that's how the augusti looks so far it's like done you're gonna leave it for like probably 10 minutes in a low heat let it dry it up and that's it it looks so good and it was so good oh my gosh like seriously but hey now it's time for us to cook the fufu so i didn't show you guys where i was mixing the fufu but you need to get that fufu thick like that you need to get it thick like that and if you know it's not like when you keep mixing it and you know it's getting hard for while you mix it keep adding a little bit of water you know while you mix it keep adding a little bit of water you can't put that much of water on it because then you're gonna get it all like how you say um you're gonna get it too much you're gonna get too much water on it i don't know how you guys say but hey you're gonna get too much water on it and it's gonna be soft you don't want your fufu to be too soft you know yeah so right now we're cooking the fufu So, see how the fufu coming out? Keep turning it. You keep turning it until that fufu changes color. It's so great. so why cooking it you don't want your fufu to be wasted you know you need to get like another spoon and start like getting the sides where the fufu keep rubbing and then you put it in the middle so you can you know so you can cook together see that's how much amount of water you should add when the fufu gets like that you can be putting so much so it can be light while you turn it so it can be easy to while you turn it it's gonna cook really fast that way so you can as you guys can see right now it's changing color and that's the color that we want but we need to let it all everything change color before like we know it's done cooking Hey guys, that's how it came out. You have that nice grayish color. And that's how I wanted it to be. That's how I look with the fufu. You can eat the egusi with the gari. Not like dry gari, but you have to like make the gari like as fufu. And you can eat it with yam. And you can eat it with rice. I eat it with rice, so hey. Thank you guys so much. So, so, so much for 1,000 subscribers. You guys really, really make me feel good. And soon we're about to reach 2,000. Imagine that.
thank you guys so much you guys are the best i'm soon gonna make a video about that like since i have my camera i'm going to do a video about that and i'm gonna post it so i appreciate you guys thank you guys so much and don't forget again to subscribe if you haven't subscribed if you're new and that's it guys for the video bye